Have you ever been to the top of America's Mountain? Well, better yet, have you ever even heard of America's Mountain? Well, that's where we're going. We're headed to the summit. Hop in, come go with us. It's going to be fun. kids. Not me. Her sitting pretty over there. There's a little rise about 15 miles west of Colorado Springs called Pikes Peak. And that's where we're headed. Pikes Peak is one of the majestic 14ers of Colorado sitting at a whopping 14,115 feet. We don't even know if we can get there today. They've had a lot of snow up there but we're sure gonna give it a shot. Last time I was here, I was with my grandpa, about 14 years old. I do the calculations, I don't know how many years ago that is, but that's been a long time ago. We were in a red suburban. It was one of the only times I ever got to spend with my grandpa. And we tried our best to get to the top. It was in July, I remember. And we drove up that big thing for a long way. And that old Suburban started sputtering out. It was carbureted. And we never made it to the top. But I do remember stopping in July and playing in the snow. It's one of the few memories I have. I'm surprised it's taken us this long to recreate that and try to make it to the top. Even her came up here, I guess, way back when she was younger with a church group, but she don't remember it. So, I'm sure it still looks the same. Pikes Peak ranked number 20 in the 50 14ers here in Colorado. I think the highest one is Mount Elbert at 14,440 feet. That's a ways up there. What makes this so special in America's mountain, you might ask? Well, I think it's just because it's one of the few that's accessible by uh, paved road, car, and all that. The road is 19 miles and it takes about two to three hours round trip. And that's if you don't lollygag and hang out, but we're gonna hang out. They have a little cafe, coffee shop up there. They have a visitor center at the very top and they have some real cool hiking trails that go off in every direction from there. They also have a summit challenge that I think we're gonna to try to play with. I guess question and answer information deal. You have to have a timed entry from Memorial Day to September 30th to even go up this mountain. They're so popular that if they didn't regulate the traffic going up, then it would just be a constant flow and you would never get there, you might say. There'd be too many people at the top, there's no parking. So I'm in agreement with it, it's just kind of a nuisance. But of course, there's other ways to get up there. They've got Jeep tours, they have shuttles, and they also have a train that you can take. But I kind of want to be in control of my own destiny. And if I want to pull off and play around in the snow, then that's what I want to do. I don't want someone to tell me to get back in, we gotta go kind of deal and make my schedule for me. So that's just the way that's gonna be. You can also hike it if you think you're in shape enough. It's 26 and a half miles to get up there and back. They even have a camp up there if you just can't make it in one day. I think what made this mountain so famous was that there was this little known songwriter named Kath Catherine Lee Bates. And from her inspiration of the views from the top of the summit, she wrote one of the most patriotic American songs, America the Beautiful. I mean, we can sing it together, but there ain't no reason to do all that. If this was midsummer, we'd probably have the tops off this Jeep. This is one of those special moments that we would love to be able to just see the views from the top. But it's supposed to be 34 degrees with a wind chill of 14 today, so I don't think we're gonna take the tops off this Jeep. As a matter of fact, we packed all of our coats and our base layers, and if we decide to go on a little hike up there, we plan on being prepared. I mean, it's gonna be cold. I think the wind's gonna be blowing at 20 miles an hour. 
being flat landers, it's gonna cut right through us, I know it will. But y'all hang with us. Let's see if we can even make it to the top. No guarantees today of making it all the way. The wind is quite strong up yeah, there. That's if it gets too bad, we can shut it down. What I heard. How's the snow up there? Oh, uh, there's quite a lot for this time of year. We'd recommend keeping a couple windows open a little bit. Let's pressure yeah. equalize in and out. Watch your doors and hats when you're getting in and out of the car. On your way down, keep her in two-wheel drive, but mostly first gear so you don't ride those brakes too much. Right on. Thanks a lot. All right. Thank you. Oh my God, it's cold. It's 35 degrees. Wind blowing about 20, 25 miles an hour. Puts the wind chill around 12. We are embracing the suck. Let's go look around. I'm on the bar trail right now. This is the trail that everybody takes from the bottom up. I just stopped and talked to a couple of hikers. It's taken them six and a half hours to get 
to the top up here with an, about an 8,000 foot gain. There's a camp about six miles down that if you can't make it up and back in one day, you can stay at that camp. It's a nice little log cabin. But this, uh, this trail ain't no joke. I just don't know if I'm ever gonna be in the shape to actually do it 13 miles straight up. I don't know, maybe one day. I might do it when I'm 70. One of the hikers just told me they're gonna run it on the way down. And I patted my belly and said, I don't run. <laughs> I barely can walk. With this 14,000 foot elevation, I'm telling you right now, that ain't no joke. I'm going downhill and being out of breath. And I'm fixing I have to go back up there. But I wanted to get away from the crowds just for a second. Just kind of sit and reflect. I left her at the coffee shop. Her knee still ain't as good as it should be to be doing stuff like this. At least we're out of the wind right here and it's not too awful bad being in the sunshine. Man, this is something right here. I've waited a long time to come up here. I've waited since I was 14 years old and it sure hasn't disappointed. There's some places on the way back down that we're gonna stop at. Some little bitty lakes that are frozen that we're gonna get out on. I don't know. We're gonna take some little pictures of that. It should be pretty cool. This is amazing, y'all. You gotta you gotta experience it at least once. This is I can understand why that lady was so inspired to write that song, America the Beautiful. It's so fast. I couldn't imagine being higher than this. Can you imagine the views from Mount Everest? I, I don't know, you may not be able to even see anything because of the clouds. And to look out on here and, and to think that there's not a creator. Man, you, I'm sorry for that if you don't think that. But either way, I'm gonna start heading back up. Oh, I got about a 200 foot climb. So we'll see you back up there. head back down. Much needed coffee, get warmed up. It's 97 degrees in Texas, y'all. <laughs> I wonder how that windscreen's working on that medium mod. We're gonna find out. I don't know when we're gonna be back up here, but this is another little trail that was on my must do while I'm here. It's a little out and back. And this is mine right here.
this, my friends, is why this was a must. Well, that's Pike's Peak. Man, that was beautiful. Like I said, it should be on everybody's bucket list. America's Mountain. Totally awesome. I appreciate y'all hanging around. Hit that subscribe button. If you haven't already, I'd appreciate it. Like and share if you want to. Hope this was a little bit educational for you. I hope you enjoyed the views. We sure did. Man, it was cold. Always remember, leave it better than you found it. So until then, See you down the road.